Okay, so this video is in response to my last video. Now, in my last video, it is a snippet of a Zoom that I did. Shout out to Treya, Speak Life Ministries. Love you, girl. So, um, it is a snippet from a Zoom that I did. And I talked about my deliverance. So, in this video, I'm going to kind of discuss that a little bit. So, basically... I started smoking tobacco when I was 18. I bought a black and mouth just because I was 18 and I could buy one. And it stayed in my uh, my wallet for a very long time. And when I smoked it, it was stale. Like, just young and all of this stuff. But just doing it because I could. Like, that's the legal age, right? So I'm going to do it. Sorry, playing with my hair. So I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to experience it because everybody else is doing it. And, you know, growing up, watching my dad do it and my aunt, uncle, you know, seeing people do it and not really like, oh, this could affect your body. Psh, they're fine. I'll be fine. But just having that mentality and that mindset and not realizing that picking that up would turn into, wow, I'm 18. Here I am, 29, and I'm trying to get my life right. So, God, I'm hearing you. And I'm hearing him constantly tell me. I'm sorry, it's raining now. I'm hearing him constantly tell me to quit smoking. I'm hearing him constantly, you know, um, whispering and getting louder and louder and sending prophetic words my way. Like, just giving me this insight and just really being patient with me. Like, above all, God is just so patient. Like, He's so patient. It blows my mind sometimes just how patient he can be with us. You know what I'm saying? This flesh that sometimes doesn't have patience. This flesh that sometimes is so captivated in my own mess. You know what I'm saying? Like, I miss it. I don't have patience with God. Like, I want him to do it now and not tomorrow. And don't give me this wait in business, God. Like, I need you today where you at. And he's patient with me, with that kind of flesh. He's patient with me. And just walking in it, walking in this deliverance and not saying that it's easy. Because like I said, I smoked from 18 to 29. I just turned 29. And no, not 29. Excuse me. 18 to 28. 10 years. Um, and going in the new year, no smoking. Like I'm celebrating victories. When I made it two weeks, I was hype. I was hype. So here I am about to enter. What day is it today? It's the 10th, I think. I think it's the 10th. In three more days, it would have been three months that I have not smoked. And it gives me so much. Like, I'm so proud of me. Like, I don't need anybody else to be proud of me. I'm proud of me. Because I know that this time is indeed the last time. And I know how many times I have said that this is the last time. I know how many times that I have quit and started up again. And I know how many times that I have laid it at his feet and made promises to him and told him I wasn't going back. Like I know how many times I told him, God, I'm done, but still did it anyway. Like I know how many times that has happened for me. And sorry, notifications. I know how many times this has this has been my journey. Like, this has been my journey. Start, stop, start, stop. <laughs> like, this is what, what did Paul say? Like, I want to do the right thing, but my flesh gets caught up and then I do the wrong thing. But I really want to do this right thing. Like, going back and forth in this cycle, in this stop, quit, start again. And each time, each time. It was harder and harder. Each time, quitting was harder and harder. Each time. But I know this time is indeed the last time. So I just want to encourage people. If you are quitting tobacco, if you have just recently quit smoking, shout out to you. Big ups to you. I celebrate you. I lift you up. I thank God for your journey and your walk. May he give you the strength, not even day by day, because sometimes that's just too much for us. I pray that he gives you an abundance of strength, hour by hour, minute by minute, second by second. May you just be arrested now with his strength in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May he fill the void 
that is in your life that led you to smoking in the first place, my God, may he do a, a, a amazing, miraculous work in you. That is something you don't crave anymore. That is something you don't desire, that you don't want to taste it, that the smell alone, oh God, turns you off. Oh God, I just speak strength over you <laughs> that this time will be the last time and that you will prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. We're in this journey together. I'm right here with you. I'm telling you. And people who know me, like know me, know me, know how much I smoked. <laughs> know how much I smoked. Just how much. How much I paid in support of the tobacco company. I'm so hyped though. Like I could actually wear one of those shirts. What is what did them shirts say? Like live above the I don't know. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Them little tobacco shirts on the commercial. I don't know. I used to I used to laugh at them all the time. But now I can wear one. <laughs> um thank you for watching. I pray that this blessed you. Again, I love you. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like the video, share it, all that good jazz. Love y'all. Be blessed and let's heal together. Let's grow together.